Here we are at the Digital Playground booth with another lovely, stunning young individual. You mind introducing yourself to the people at home? Hi, I'm Riley Steele. And Riley, I understand you uh, just kind of started in the industry. Is yes, I'm, I'm new. I'm brand new. And you hit the industry by storm because you uh, started off in the Pirates sequel. Yes. A huge film. It's quite a start, huh? In total, how long have you been in the industry? So uh, maybe seven months now. Wow. So far, yeah. So have you ever uh, had anyone notice you in public yet? Not yet, not yet. But I think hopefully this year people will because all my movies are going to come out this year. All right, all right. But can you name some titles that we could expect you to see? Um, we got Riley Scream. I shot a Scream series. We got Chic. We have Perfect Pet coming out in February. Okay. Along with Chic coming out in February too. We got Nurses coming out. It's going to be a big, big one. Oh, just look out. I have so love for I have so many movies. Lots of last movies. You're starting off the year strong, and usually people at the beginning of the year set up New Year's resolutions. Do you happen to have any New Year's resolutions? Just take the industry by storm. All right, you mentioned you're excited to see fans out here, and they always, a lot of fans always claim to be your number one fan and whatnot, and they think they know everything about you, but tell us something about yourself that not even your number one fan would know about you. I eat a pint of ice cream every night. You liar. I do. What flavor? Lemon. Lemon ice cream? Not, okay, try the Hagen dazs lemon sorbet. Is that ice cream sorbet? Sorbet is the same thing. Or Ben and Jerry's half baked. A whole pint every night? Every night. So you have it stocked up when in your I have it, Well, I haven't had it the past few nights because I've been traveling. Mm. I've been sad. I need my ice cream. <laughs> Since you're just kind of starting, is this your first appearance at an adult convention? Um, I went to the Fame Awards and we shot um, overseas in Berlin and Germany. We did the Venus Award shows over there, but this is my very first Avian. I've been waiting to come to Avian for a very long time, so I'm excited to be here. I noticed there's like a lot of fans that try to uh, perhaps ask inappropriate stuff, but people might consider inappropriate. Like, uh, I, I witnessed some guy ask the porn star, like, hey, uh, let's just go to my room and let's have sex. Has that happened yet? Um, yeah, some guys just think that they just say things like that too. I just keep walking. I don't even listen to them. Does that offend you? It doesn't offend me. I think guys, some guys are just, maybe they're just strong. I don't know. Because uh, being in the industry, you are like, and the work you're involved with, they'll probably throw in compliments like, oh, Riley, you suck cock so good, or stuff like that. Yeah, you know, but I like that. <laughs> I like hearing that kind of stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's bring it back to the beginning, the seven months ago. What got you interested in joining the porn industry? What was that deciding factor there? You know, growing up, I've always looked up to very sexual figures. I've always wanted to be a very sexual girl. I've always just been like that naturally. I tried modeling when I was like 16. They wanted to change me too much. I didn't want to. They wouldn't let me be sexual change you. enough. They wanted me to dye my hair brown and stuff. I was like, no, that's not me. I want to be a sexual girl. And so. Is this your natural hair color? I'm dirty blonde. I'm a dirty blonde. Oh, I just like the dirty part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, from what you're observing of me right now, I need some help with the ladies. It is indeed my New Year's resolution to lose my virginity. <gasps> And I was wondering if you could give me some pointers. Okay. Don't act surprised. You patronize me. You're a virgin? Me. Yeah. No, you're not. You're a liar. I'm a 29-year-old virgin. No, you're not. Okay, I'm 27. Oh. <laughs> you know what? There's lots of girls here. Maybe all of us digital playground girls have to jump you. Uh, you could uh, initiate me. Use your virginity to like... That would be a pretty good... Uh, yeah, that would be life -changing a pretty experience. good fucking losing your virginity story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it will be told on videotape. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm blanking. I'm sorry. You you just I'm thinking about fucking all yeah. of them at the same time, huh? <laughs> if this if this uh porn industry, let's say if it didn't exist, what do you think you'd be involved in? Like let's say there's no modeling at all, no porn. What what career choice, what career path would you be taking? Um I don't know. I've always just wanted to do this. I've never thought of anything else. This is what I want to do. When you're a little girl, little girls are like, when I grow up, I want to be a princess, I want to be this and that. You, you said no, when I was... I wanted to be a porn star. No. you were six years old. No, I wanted to be a model. When I was growing up, I looked up to like Carmen Electra, Pam Anderson, and then I learned what porn was. And I was like, I want to be a porn star. I want to express my sexuality out there for the world. I want everybody to see me and watch me fuck. I like people jacking off to me. So, yeah, I love knowing that, yeah. I 
like it when my fans send me pictures of their cum all over my pictures. <laughs> that's pretty kinky. That's that's dirty blonde right there. That is finest. Uh, you should see my uh, plasma screen television. There's definitely plasma on it. <laughs> Alright, well, I know there's a lot of acting that goes on in the film, whether it be di dialogue or faking orgasm. I was wondering if we could share with the audience a sample of your acting ability, if you could give us a nice 15 second or so fake orgasm. Oh, Josh, it feels so fucking good. You're about to make me come. You feel how wet you're making my pussy. Oh my god, I just want you to fucking fuck me harder, harder, harder. Oh my god, I'm about to come, I'm about to come right now. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I'm coming all over your fucking dick right now. It feels so good. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed verified. I have jizzed my pants just right now. Can I take that? Uh, no. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. Well, just because you're doing me a favor of uh, helping me lose my virginity, okay. I'm dead serious about that, actually. I've never had a girlfriend. The farthest I've got you is. You never had a girlfriend? No. No. I you're did. cute. What? She's a good actress. I am actually buying into it right now. No, but really, I am trying to lose my virginity during these couple days. Have you been having sex every single day of this convention? I haven't been. I'm horny. I've just been fucking myself what? every night. You're, you're missing out on sex. You're missing out on lemon sorbet. I know. I have no lemon sorbet. I have no sex. I have, but I have my vibrator. And, and I, I, could, I could replace that. Girl, so I could replace that. You can replace that? Yeah. Okay. All right, last 10 seconds. Tell the fans why they should be checking out your work, your material, over any of these other girls here. Check me out. I'm brand new. I'm the new girl in the industry, and I fuck, and I like to swallow cum a lot. So. And she's going to make me uh, lose my virginity. Yeah, it's all of us. I'm about to have a heart attack. Hey baby, I'm Riley Steele and you are beating off to open session right now. Mm.